Hello there, my name is Emin, EMC Soft, and in this video I wanted to show you how you can do setup of uh, permissions uh, for leads, deals, contacts, and companies. So, uh, the main uh, thing about permission is that you uh, give uh, permissions to your uh, different employee, different type of access to leads and deals. So, uh, you should go to the more and uh, go to the settings, CRM settings. And in CRM settings, you need to go to permissions, access permissions. And an access permissions, you need to create a role. Role, this one. Role means that a uh, role of your employees. For example, you got a marketing department, they got marketing role, you got sales department, they got sales role. We got engineers department, we got engineers role, managers and so on. So for example, you got some role which you call um, sales department or sales. You click need to click add. Yeah, I will, I will repeat that. You need to go to roles, click add. On add, give a name of that role like sales, just sales. So uh, if you assign that role to some person or some department, what, um, what kind of permissions he should to have? I would, uh, for example, I would uh, do the following. For example, any salesperson can see all contacts uh, in your CRM. So in that case, you need to go to the read, click here and select all means that he can see all contacts then um, what happened next then if um, you need add that mean that he can add all um, all contact and in update means that he can edit any contact in that case I would recommend for example, he can uh, uh, edit only personal or personal department, uh, sub departments, like like this one, like right? so he can edit only personal contacts, and I would uh, access deny to delete, export, import, right? The same stuff. So he can see your sales person can see all um, companies. He can uh, add all companies as well edit only personal companies and the same stuff for them um, for example leads right he, you can uh, do as uh, assignment for even each stage of um, in, inside of the lead so this is my stages in my leads so if you go to my leads so you will see that you know that I got that stages so you can assign for each stages, but um, in that particular case, I would rather define for all stages the same permissions. So he can read, means see, only personal leads. Means that if by somehow a lead created and uh, your sales person assigned as a responsible person for that lead, he can see it. The same stuff for the ad for the same stuff for update uh, he can delete lead because you know uh, some you know leads it's always could be unquality and you don't need that even sent to a junk Joe junk leads and um, that's it actually for the leads the same stuff for the quotes invoices the same stuff for the invoices you can um, in invoices you can give him permission to see only personal invoice uh, add only personal invoice update edit personal one no delete and uh, so that will be uh, scaled for the all stages right so a uh, CRM exceptions uh, so this uh, one uh, is uh, for my uh, smart process so don't pay attention for that just concentrate only on things, the main things which I describe here. I want to make that video short. 
So contacts, company, lead, and uh, deals, right? So uh, in general deals, the same stuff, you can give him access to the personal, right? And uh, add and update to personal, right? So, and uh, then you need to save that. Click save. Then, uh, you need to select some person or department and assign that role, right? So you select a particular user, for example, you selecting um, some user from your system, selecting him and assign that particular role to him, means that that user will use that role. That's necessary when you have, you know, you don't need to assign roles and permissions for each user. You create a role and assign them by you know my multiple assignment. So you can select as many persons as you want and click then save. Or you can add access permission and select a department, which is much more easier. So you can select, for example, sales department and select that all departments and employees, some sub departments select and all departments who located in that um, sales department will have that role. Click save. For example, in my uh, test portal, um, I got that structure, which is not real, but anyway. So it means that, for example, in that sales department, if I will move that employees they will have that roles that roles that roles automatically assign it to them right and uh, you don't need to you know assign that roles uh, for each of them uh, separately we already got that roles right so what my assignment means now if um, I created a lead, for example, I will, I would, I am, I am as an admin, I will create a test lead, right? Right. So I, as admin, see all the leads. But if, um, uh, but uh, because that lead assigned me to me as a responsible person these people will not see it, see it because they see only, they, they see, that's back to my permissions, go to the sales. So they see leads only personal. As an example, I created a test uh, user as Mike Smith. And um, I so um, I located him as a sales department. So this is a company structure right here, sales department. And uh, so for sales department, I created that role. So then I open that role and I'm do the testing. So for example, um, I created the lead, which assigned it to Armand. So that lead assigned it to a responsible Armand which is in the same structure as uh, Mike Smith so in sales department so they are both in the same department that means that they got the same roles assigned and I'm going back to manage roles and now uh, I'm logging as uh, Mike Smith and I see because I got a permissions to read personal and department so I see that lead but what happened if i will try to make uh, another stage nothing so the access denied because i not able to update i may update only my uh, mike smith um, leads if for example i change to personal department because armand in the same department so i click apply and may change it 
So, hey, I got a permission now. Right, so uh, what happened if I will, for example, uh, deny, access denied for adding new lead, right? Apply. And I'm going back to my MicSmig portal. And I see that I'm not able to create any, uh, any lead. Means that if somebody else able only created for me, right? So uh, what happened if, <clears throat> if uh, I will read, will give uh, permission, uh, personal department, but for example, if I will access denied for unassigned stage and in progress stage, right? So that means that if I have uh, leads on this that stage or that stage I am not able to see it so apply and then refresh my page so aha uh -huh. so you see that in that stage I have um, a, a revoke permission to see leads in that stages so it's necessary for example in different uh, depart um, different roles if for example you shouldn't see that leads or deals actually for deals, contacts, companies, the same settings, you're not able to see that stages, but you should to see in that stages because of, for example, your sales, you need to create invoice and so on. But what happened next, you shouldn't see them, right? So if um, I will put back, personal, apply. And what happened is that if um, in lead, I will give a permission to uh that lead oh, okay so it's uh yeah um so i will put back all open means that which is not closed so um personal department yeah i, I, I can do it in that way if i will put personal department personal department yeah personal no, no, only personal, right? And um, so I update my page, so I should to see that leads again, all right? And what happen if um, I will not able to um, edit on able to edit on that page, but not able to edit in that page, for example? So I'm just uh, in process. Uh, yeah, in this one. Uh, access denied so means that if your manager moved that uh, lead from that stage that, that stage means that he not able to do any updates right for example we can put some comments ah, so it's uh, okay I will, I will create a new one right and uh, in that stage I will put some comments Yeah, that's uh, this one. Right. And um, so I got the commands. And when, for example, move that lead to that stage, I'm trying to open it and try to add some comments. So I'm not able to do that because you have no permission for update. So this is a short example. And you can play with different settings and so on. So I would recommend you to create some uh, fake account and uh, like Mike Smith I created here and test different roles on, you know, in that main page on, and the second page that to see how that will be, you know, looks like for your, for your employees. So if you have questions, ask your questions in the comment of that video. If you like that video, click like and uh, thank and bye-bye.